Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video on Creo Element Direct Modeling Express. This is the OB version, this is the maker version of Creo Element, so this is also this is also the free version. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a new work plane, how you can work with work plane. If you like my video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. A lot of content about graphic design, 3D modeling, different type of tutorials. You can also take a glance on the first link on the description. I put my complete course about Creo Element Direct Modeling Express. So if you want to master this, um, this software, this version of Creo, uh, you want to create all your 3D models by yourself after this training course will be perfect, nice structure, a lot of session, explanation in details and at the end of the course different trainings with 3d modeling creation so first thing on the description so let's start with uh, the work plane the first thing that i'm going to do is to just click and i just want to show you that if you want to create a new work plane perpendicular the first thing that you can do is to click on work plane on the top left corner here you can find work plane and when i arrive here i can click on new and directly you have a world origin work plane and when you click here you can create a new work plane and you can just drag and move on this direction and put for example 90 degrees and i can drag and move also just here and if you move with 50 just with a value of 50 you can create a new work plane perfectly perpendicular so this is the first important things to do each time when you create a new work plane, the last work plane will be active. When it is active, it is in bold. And why it is interesting to have a work plane active? Because each time you create a sketch on the active work plane, and when you use view by current work plane, it is every time the uh, current work plane. So this is the first thing to do, to know. Uh, second things that we are going to do is to select the work plane number one. So I need to set active. And thanks to that, on this work plane, I can use view by current work plane. Let's create two axes, a horizontal axis, just here. I can tap 50 millimeter and a vertical axis. You can drag and move the axe and you can tap on the bottom left corner a value. You just tap 50 and you press enter. And thanks to that, I have my center point. If I create a rectangle defined from center, I can create a rectangle like this with, for example, two values. Let's make something simple, 80 by... Um, yes, let's work with 80, uh, 80 by 60. I can tap my value or I can just drag and move like this. I can press escape. Uh, now, the second thing is to use my pull linear tools. And on this work plane, I can extrude. Let's work with 20 millimeter like that. If you want to create a work plane directly on the face, you click on the face, you click on any tools of, um, of drawings, and automatically you have a new work plane created. And this is my work plane number three, and it is a new active work plane. And it means I can create a circle from the center with like 16, just validate and create an extrusion with this circle. I can use my pull linear tools, create an extrusion on this direction, Let's work with, for example, 40 millimeter and just validate. If I want to create a new sketch here, I can click on this circle and click on one of these tools. Automatically, I have a new work plane. I can go at zero, zero, and I can create something with 12 millimeter like that. And then I can create an extrusion, pull, pull linear, click here and drag and move on this direction to create an extrusion. So now if you want to add a new work plane, first thing that you need to understand, you can just go right click and you can delete any work plane with right click. You can go right click, you can also rename your work plane and you can go right click, set active the work plane. Let's delete this different work plane, for example, first. If I want to add new work plane, I can click on new and I have different options here. Or you can just click on new and now you can select the options on this area. For example, you have a part to face. 
and it means you select a face for example you can select this face and directly you can create a new work plane on this face or on this face we are offset let's do this again work plane new and select part to face i can select this face and here you can enter our offset if i take for example 10 i can click on apply and i created a new work plane i can after if i want drag and move the offset just like this and created a new work plane and you have multiple options to create work plane when you go on new you can create for example a point direction so point direction is about circle each time when you have a circle you can go left click and you need to select the normal where you want to have for example this one and now if i just validate i created on this normal a new work plane as you can see but it can be a work plane at the intersection work plane new and point direction i can select this circle and i can change the normal so it means it can be something different like this one and you can create a work plane at the intersection just crossing like this you have more option work plane new you can for example create a part to work plane here so it means you select the last active work plane and you can create an offset to create another work plane just like this with the offset you can create part work plane new uh, you have on uh, axis so it means on axis you just select for example um, a curve face just like that and you can select a circle and after you select the axis that you want if i select u axis i will have just a work plane crossing directly my circle and work plane new you can also create so world origin as i explained before it is one of the best because you can have a lot of freedom you can create a new work plane you can drag and move like this you can create rotation at your convenience and you can really make what you want with this type of work plane if i continue work plane new you can also have a work plane normal to work plane so it means you select a normal so it means you select for example a point it can be a point here and after you select a normal it can be for example this one oops um, can be yeah, this one and now i can create a new work plane at this intersection and the last thing is create a new work plane you have also a point 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 so it means you can create three points i can for example decide to put a point here put a point here and why not put a point here and create a new work plane at the intersection of these three points a new work plane at the intersection of this three print and you can drag and move and each time you can if you if for example i want to work on the work plane number five here i need first to define active so right click on the work plane set active and now if i click here view by current work plane directly i can work on this work plane and if i create any things I'm here on this work plane. Every time you work on the active work plane and you can position the view on the active work plane. So this is how you can work with a work plane in element Direct Modeling Express. This is the OB version, the maker version of Creo Element. And with this version, it is for free. It is little uh, difficult when uh, you start with this uh, type of version because uh, a lot of things can look difficult when you start even if you use before a 3d modeling software a cid software it's extremely difficult to start with creo element direct modeling express first link on the description the complete course my complete course if you are interested by more you can um, take a glance on this first link you will see the models the session of the course what you will be able to learn a lot of trainings uh, video also at the end of the course we um, we uh, will be the modelization the modeling of different parts different type of parts and at the end of the course you will master perfectly uh, this software for the next video see you ciao ciao